Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Skyrim. Where we left off last time, we had just finished one of our Daedra Quests for her scene. Uh, we're going to continue on with Daedra Quests in this video. I have a list up and we've actually done a good amount of them. Uh, so the next one we're going to go do is probably going to be Azura. It's relatively easy to get to, so we might as well. So if we go to Winterhold, Azura's Shrine is somewhere down here. Apparently I'm growing hungry. God might get nervous, a man approaches with his weapons drawn. For a dragon we to need to go that way. Grove. Why? Why there? I think we could have seen the statue from the ground before, like when we were over there somewhere, but we need to get up to it. There it is, right there. You can see her hand jutting out. Uh, it's kind of a pain to get to, isn't it? Oh. I hear something unpleasant. I'm trying to get to a shrine, thank you. Damn. It's being all growly. I mean, it's Sunday. It looks like it's like 1 in the morning. It's 5 a.m. I guess it's morning technically now. Even though it's only 5 a.m. Also, my microphone cord is on the fritz. I think it's finally reaching the end of its lifespan. Which is unfortunate because ordering a new one is extremely expensive. It's a proprietary board, and uh, yeah. I did, however, order a headset that I might give a shot. We'll see. I wanted one for traveling. How do I get up there? Because bringing a compressor microphone while traveling is a pain. Headset mics, way easier. I'll give it a shot. Maybe I won't tell you when it happens, and then you can tell me when you notice the difference. I grab this waypoint while I'm up here. Come on. Sightless pits. We're gonna continue upwards. We're almost there, I think. There's also a dragon shrine here somewhere. You can see it it's right there somewhere. Is that a wolf? Archery skill, yeah. It did not die from a single arrow. Now it's dead. It definitely died from the second arrow, though. That was because I'm using iron arrows. They are 100% garbage at this point of the game. I don't know why I still have them. I should just use steel at the minimum. I have like 600 steel arrows, too. I should really make myself some like dragon bone arrows or something along those lines, but they're very expensive to make in terms of dragon bone. And we've reached the Shrine of Azura. This is where we want to be. Up we go. Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Seen my coming, what do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Very well, what does she need? You must go to a fortress endangered by water yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Okie dokie. Okay, 
think you have to quick travel to winter. Oh, there we go. Hello, winter hold people. Leading me up a hill. Oh, never mind. It's not. That was a custom marker. All right, let's talk to some people. We need to find the elven mage from Arania's vision. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. Arania, maybe. I think it's more of an Arania than an Arania. Come on in. Innkeepers always have warm drinks and warm info. Drinks. Turns out who runs Venterhold doesn't change much. Actually, and hang on one sec. There we go. Hey, I'm surprised. Don't like those eyes. Elven you, mages? The mages are up in the college. You can ask them if they'll let you in. Oh. Then again, Nelikar might know. He's an old timer from the college, but he has a room here. All right, Good Nelikar, day. where are you? He's at the table. You could just point at him to me. May I help you, Archmage? I'm looking for an elven mage who studies stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. A priestess of Azura sent me. Azura? Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? They're for enchanting. They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's star, a daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. And what was he really planning? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alta's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. How does it work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem. Yes. Only it never gets depleted. Mm -hmm. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before... Well, I already told you. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. I'm off. Thank you for your... words of warning. Now we have to find Azura's star. Which apparently is this direction. Right there. Uh, we have a couple. We'll go to Bloated Man's Garage. No, Half Moon Hill maybe and just walk across. Although Blood. or Bloated Man's Garage might be closer still. It's really hard to tell. Of, it depends if we can go south from here. No, it doesn't look like we're on the right side of the mountains. Alright, Half Moon Hill it is. We can just walk around or even just swim across the lake. I think there might be slaughter fish in the water though. There's venison there, but is it people venison? We'll never know. There's a keep there. I wonder if we're going to be able to make it across without being killed. But it's certainly possible. For some reason my recording program isn't showing me the time that we've been recording, so that's not ideal either. We're just gonna wing it. Worst case we end up with a slightly short or a slightly long video. The Linalta's deep. 
the hell? Freaking mud crabs. All right, how do we get into this place? There's a door on that turret, which we probably could have gone the other way towards. This place is certainly looking a little bit bleak. Also, that's not very good sign. Let's go kill some things. Oh, water is wreaking havoc with the stability of the game, by the way. I don't know why, but it is literally the worst thing. Skeleton. Hello. A necro dancer. How? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. The chair blocked my attacks. I hit him so hard he flew through the door. Also, I'd never live in this place. It is super depressing in here, and it looks cold even with a fire running. I need to get better sneaking armor. Maybe I'll make some. I should just make some like heavy armor that has better sneak. I think that re sneak ability works very well. There we go. More gems. Oops. I grabbed a potion as well. over his head. He's an arc necromancer though. And a bandit outlaw? Oh, it's a summon bandit outlaw. I see. I don't know why the water effects are such a problem in this game, but they really, really are. Hopefully we won't have too many water places left. Is the lock on this lock? Get you in straight up. No, it's down further. Here we go. Okay. Ugh. Garbage. You can't hide from me. I can hide from you. I've been doing it quite well. That's the sound of the place being cleared. That wong sound. We're clearly not done here because we haven't found a Zura star. Which may be this way. Come on, there we go. Not there. Please let me get to this water hell hole soon. Making my game bleed. We're going to Ilanalta's Deluge. This is where it is. Apparently just right ahead somewhere. All souls are needed for the star. The last one died before he could be harvested.
There are two ways to go. Let's go this way first. Might end up being the right way. But who knows? I'm sure somebody knows. I don't remember this area very well. Lots of dead people, or empty cells, one of the two. This is looking like the room with the star. And the skeleton's still coming back to life. I one-shot him. The stars are right here somewhere. Um. Oh, it could be up from here. Okay. I was like, where is it? But it might be upstairs. Ah, yes, there it is. So I can either bring the star to Aranea or Nelikar. If you bring it to Nelikar, it becomes a dark star. If you bring it to the other girl, it just becomes the normal star of Azura. Both are fine. We don't really need a star of Azura all that much anyways, so we're going to bring it to the right place. Turn it into the proper authorities, if you will. Oh, my eyes. It's so bright everywhere. Being a vampire was a bad choice. Although the quest line is very cool so far. No, I'm stuck. Azura Star! I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here you go. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Yeah, okay. Greetings, mortal. Greetings. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malin Varen. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Oh, then why don't you remove it? Aren't you a Daedra? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. Okay. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. I guess so. Let's do it. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my disciples have sent me away. Oops. 
There's something different about you. You can't escape your fate, Malin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. All right. Come back. The Dramora? He has a Dramora ally. Oh god, his spells are very powerful. We need to close with him quickly. Luckily, we have all those potions that we pick up and never use. No, not like this. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry. God damn, this Dramora hurt. I will okay. return you before you are cleansed. I would really appreciate the ability to leave. Thank you. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. Yay. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Super. Thanks for your star. Okay, so we are off to the next stage request. Which I think... So we've done... Uh, Boethia. We've done Clavicus Vile. We've done Hermaeus Mora. We've done Hersene. No, we haven't done Hersene. Alright, Hersene it is. We need to go to Falkreath. Yes. Falkreath it is. Where have we done Hercene? Do we have the Ring of Hercene? Oh no, Skyrim, don't crash on me. Wait for the program to respond. Come on. Don't do it. Just to load. It's still, I can see in the recorder it's still working. Yes. As a Blitzar vampire, you are feared and hated. Whatever. Do we have a ring of Hercene? Is all I care about currently. No. Alright. Hercene quest it is. The shift key on this keyboard is really touchy. Like, it has an almost no actuation time. It's really weird. Anyways, uh, we need to go to the jail here in Falkreath. Which is... Actually, I don't know where. I can't remember where it is. That's a potion shop. That's the barracks. It's probably in the barracks. Why did you need a second loading screen for the jail? You could have just put it below the whatever. Yes. I didn't talk to you. Can you approach? How do I talk to you? You. What do you the Emperor of Tamriel? Dead. These are dark times, my friend. Dark yes, I need you to move closer so I can. How do I open this cage? I'll figure it out. Oh, there's like a a loud sound. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Good morning. I thought there was a lever somewhere to open the Imagine door. Imagine blowing up an entire town. Damn college. Alright. We can go start this quest a different way. Because it's kind of not letting me talk to the guy that we're supposed to talk to. Oh, there's some... There's some problems there. All right, we need to find one. Oh, we should probably. We should probably eat somebody. I wonder if we can feed on the Jarl. He's kind of an asshole, so I feel bad feeding on him. He's on his throne. Oh, it's 7 a.m. All right, fair. You're not the person I need to talk to, Good nor to are you. you. Finally, someone useful is around. Not you. 
We're looking for a man named Matthias or Matthias. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. Falkreath was once full of. I'll wait an hour. More people should be around, hopefully. Like yourself. All right, Those Tekla. Days. Bad gear. Grey pine goods is open. Got something for just about everybody in here. Your name is Soloth. If you have any questions. And you have the same voices like ninety percent of the Nords. I wonder if he's in the bar drinking. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I will find this man somewhere. Hey, no important need. deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Then why are you in the bar drinking, courier? Not that being a courier is a bad thing, but like, it's your job to be a courier and you're really busy. Maybe what you shouldn't be at the bar. Just throwing it out there. Slight farm. Maybe we should find Matthias Matthias's house. And then maybe he's the wood person? I might just have to pause the video and find out where he is and then we can start the quest. I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. Oh. Anyways, I'll be back shortly. I'll figure out where this guy is. Okay, I think I found them. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal and in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius, and may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Hello. A sad time. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. How'd she die? She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Who did this? Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? Let's go find out. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Probably not a good one. Let's go talk to Sinding. Hopefully he'll approach us now. In the jail, because otherwise we're going to have to clip through the wall. Or not the wall, the gate. Hail Summoner. Conjure me up a war bed, would you? Staying safe, I hope. There we go, now he's coming towards us. Need something? Come to gawk at the monster. Here you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersey. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Ursing didn't care for my taking it. And threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like... With the little girl. 
kind of transformations. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. What will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease her scene. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. Excuse me. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. I'll do it. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. Thank you should leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. I think this is as good a time as I need to call it a video, so like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them below, otherwise I will see you guys next time. Stories about you. We'll uh, do Hercene's quest. Take care.